Have you ever been trying to build a little circuit on some of these breadboards and you're trying to get your resistors in there and they just don't ever seem to go and you just wind up with these crazy squiggly legs that are all scrunched up? Well, the problem is not yours, my friend. The problem is either these wimpy resistor leads or you've unfortunately gotten a bad breadboard. So not only do you have to deal with chunky resistors, but you have to deal with defective breadboards too. And like if you're an Arduino hobbyist or if you try to use anything with header pins on it uh, that are supposed to be centered up on these holes, you can't get Arduinos in these defective boards because the holes are just such garbage. And the problem with these things is, let's see, I think I've got one. Yeah, um, here, let me tell you, show you what's on the back of these things. See, these are just rows and rows of um, female pins. And here's one that I pulled out of there. If I can get the light right here. There's a female pin here, and I pulled it out of one of these defective breadboards. And hopefully you can see, let me put it in here. I'll just put it up here and you probably can't see, but I'll try. The, the uh, receptor is just too thin and you can't get any resistors or Arduinos in there because they're too narrow and they actually block these holes instead of giving you a nice receptor to stick leads into. These things are so skinny, they're either off center or they're too thin, the receptor, the female portion is just too thin, you can't get anything in there. So that's the problem with these things. And in the higher quality perf boards, those things are opened up more and allow an easier access when you're sticking leads in there or trying to put your Arduino in the um, breadboard. Okay. Let's take a look at some good and some bad boards so you know what to watch out for. So let's start with a high quality sample here. Notice that the numbers line up with the holes. So number one lines up pretty good here. Number two lines up pretty good with that column of holes. So there's one, one thing that uh, we're gonna see in the defective ones that they don't line up well. And here's another giveaway. We've got A, B, C, D, E. So we've got A leading off on the top here. And if we follow it over here, we've got A over here. And again, we're going to see that that fails in the uh, bad breadboards. And notice here, if we look straight down into those holes, we really can't see those metal female receptors. These things, let's take a look at an improperly aligned one. There. See, they're not lined up properly, so your stuff won't go into those holes because half of that female receptor is right in the middle of the hole and you can't get a resistor lead in there. You can't put in a multi-leg thing like an Arduino in there. Uh, it's just pretty much impossible to work with these. Let's go back to the good one again. So you can see here the metal pieces don't block half the hole. So you can fit your resistors and your Arduinos and stuff in there very nicely. So let's go compare now. I mentioned at first that the numbers line up on a good board. Let's go look at a bad board. Here the numbers don't line up. See how far off it should be just above this column. And it's right in between those columns. And if we look at a good one, we see that it's right in line with that column. And then we saw that A, B, C, D, E is the same at the top here as it is down here. Let's go look at a bad one. See, we start where should I start? Over here, A, B, C, D, E. But if we go down here, it's J, I, H, G, F. So those don't line up properly. So there's another indicator that you got a bad board if you've got these misaligned letters. So misaligned letters, misaligned numbers, and then bad printing. Look at the rough printing here. Let's go look somewhere else. Here's extremely bad printing. The H is almost gone and these lines are not solid lines. Compare this printing to a good board and we can see the letters very clearly. Well, the D isn't the hottest, but the printing is better on these letters than it was on a bad board. And the lines are much more solid than they are on a bad board. So the sure way to tell you've got a bad board is your stuff just won't go in the sockets. <laughs> but you can also look at these other things too. 
Okay, let's go have a look at Amazon and I'll show you a couple pretty good ones to go for. So two brands that I've had a lot of luck with are the Alenco brand. And they've got some pretty fancy schmancy ones here. You can um, let's click on that to enlarge it. You can actually have uh, leads where you can power up this thing through these screw on leads. So it could either be a banana jack that goes you push down into the top or you can unscrew those things and put a spade lug under the screw or just wrap a bare wire around there. So that's kind of fun. I have one of these big ones. I use it periodically. Let's go back and scroll down and you can get kit you can get some nice kits if you don't have this stuff already there's a nice wire kit so here's a pretty good buy right here for ten dollars 1098 1400 reviews if we click on that you can see there's no power supply connections for it they're just bare boards which is fine in most cases but if we take a look real quickly let's see if the um, printing looks good let's see if the numbers are lined up with the holes which they are uh, let's see if the a b c d e is the same top and bottom and it is so those are pretty good indicators that this is going to be a good board and not a cheap chinese knockoff okay so the Alenco brand is good so you could search amazon and you could pick whatever turns you on and i've also found that the uh i searched for the inland brand and it, uh, Amazon comes up with this other brand. What is that brand? Rex Qualis. But that appears to work okay. But Inland, I know, is a good brand too. Let's go back. And if they ever show any Inland brand, I don't know. There's a Lenco again. And watch out. Look at this company trying to fake you out, trying to pretend they're a Lenco. So it doesn't look like Inland is uh, is a big uh, player here on Amazon. But this other brand appears to be pretty good that comes up when you search for Inland. That's not a bad, that doesn't look like a bad buy. Two large boards and two smaller ones. So there's some ideas for you on those boards. Don't pull your hair out thinking you've got a problem if you can't fit your resistors or your Arduinos in boards. Chances are pretty good you got some cheap Chinese knockoffs. So come here and pay a couple extra bucks. And these are pretty reasonably priced. You can't get them much cheaper on Amazon or on um, eBay from China. So you get these right away. They're a reasonable price. And they're high quality boards, it looks like. And if they're not, they're easy to return. So there you go. Hope that helps.